So somebody asked us about the difference between congruous and incongruous in terms of homonymous hemianopsias. And the difference is congruous means it's the same. So when we have a homonymous hemianopsia, for example, here's a right homonymous hemianopsia. If the field defect is not exactly the same between the two eyes, we call that incongruous. So you cannot cut this one out and paste it on here and be left with some extra field. That's incongruous. However, if the field defect is exactly the same, and what we mean by same is shape, then that is congruous. And the reason you need to know it is, in the optic pathway or the afferent system, lesions that are behind the chiasm produce homonymous hemianopsias on the contralateral side. If you're in the optic tract or in the radiations, optic tract or the optic radiations, it's much more likely that you're gonna get an incongruous field defect. And the reason is the fibers are spread out. So the radiations are called radiations because they radiate out. And so it's very difficult to make the field defect look exactly the same when the fibers are so spread out. However, as you're getting closer and closer to the occipital cortex, all of the fibers are converging on a single spot. And so when you have an occipital lobe lesion, it tends to produce field defects that are exactly the same in both eyes because exactly the same amount of fibers from each eye are converging on that piece of the occipital cortex. And so congruity usually means the lesion is more posterior in the retrochiasmal pathway. So the more congruous the field defect is, the more alike it looks, as well as macular sparing and the involvement or sparing of the temporal crescent, these are the three findings that we are using to say that a lesion is more likely to be occipital than it is to be tracked or radiations. And so you need to know congruous versus incongruous, same exactly in the same eyes, or different between the two eyes, different incongruous, same congruous, and the more congruous it is, the more posterior in the retrochiasmal pathway.